Uh, yeah, I'm going uh, coach speak here, an old cliche, and say uh, we're happy to be here. But you guys have no idea how happy we are to be here. This is the first at-large bid in 125 years of West Virginia baseball. So uh, super exciting for our kids right now to, uh, uh, to be in the NCAA postseason. Uh, with me, I've got our entire senior class, uh, Jackson and Jackson. So from day one, we talked about uh, getting to this point in the season for these two guys so they could experience this before they move on with their lives. And, uh, and I'm really happy for them that they get a chance to see what uh, NCAA tournament baseball is all about. Let's open up to questions for the student athletes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Monday after the Big 12 tournament was just kind of a day to, uh, I guess, our feel-good day. Because for me, it was weird playing baseball. Still, we're used to once Monday rolls around after the Big 12 tournament, our season's over. So that day, uh, that's when I guess it hit us that we we're still playing in the postseason. And then uh, come Tuesday, though, we had to lock back in and get ready to play some more games. Sigma died. I mean, your head coach just said you guys are happy to be here, and obviously you know what he means by that. Mm -hmm. But how much have you taken it upon yourselves right now to make sure that this isn't, you know, the extent of it, that you're not just happy with the regional and you keep on going on? Uh, right. Uh, I mean, we've been working all year to get to this moment, and once you get to this moment, everything that's happened before doesn't mean anything. It's you got to win three games, maybe four, to move on, and we've just been working hard this week to put ourselves in a really good position to win those three or four games. Other questions for the student athletes? Jackson, uh, as you, I don't know if you guys have watched tape on Maryland or um, you know what you remember from that game, but how you are preparing for a team that you've had the you know you've, you've been able to actually play them this year, and so you're familiar with that that lineup that they'll be trying out. Uh, which which Jackson? Uh, <laughs> 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 Kramer, because okay. I, I don't know if you played yeah. that game, but I, I know you did. Trying to forget about that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't watched much film yet, but uh, or any of that. But I mean, we've already played them before, and uh, I mean, it was a good game, pretty close game as far as uh, the teams, and it was like a fun game. So we we're excited coming into playing them. So uh, yeah, I think definitely playing them earlier in the year has helped us prepare just to what to expect for this game on Friday. Jackson with Kramer, um, I don't know if you had a chance to look around the field yet, but 300 down the left field line is that? Excite you at all? Uh, I mean it does, but it, you can't get too excited about it because uh, that can just knock you out of your whole approach and all that. So uh, you can't look too into it. But I mean, it's definitely nice knowing the field we're playing on now after playing on a really big field last weekend. But yeah, you can't get too caught up in that. For either of you guys, what's the adjustment like going from the turf there at Morgantown to the grass down in Oklahoma City and now back to turf here? Is it how, how hard is that adjustment for you guys? That's more of you. Um, it's not too hard for us because we're used to playing on turf, especially in the Big 12. Most of the teams have turf fields, so it almost just feels like another home field to us anytime we're on turf. And I don't know, the adjustment's not too tough for us. For both you guys, um, when you were being recruited, I know there was probably a new ballpark in the offering, and obviously Randy was new, but what? How much patience did you have as a player to, to think how long it would take to get to this level? I mean, I know you wanted to do it as freshman or sophomore, but realistically, you know, what part of that sort of construction phase did you think the program was in, and, and how quickly did you think you'd be here? Um, I mean, I've said before, I thought we were in two out of the three years before this, and to not make it, being the twice, being the last four out or whatever, the – I guess that really is what, what brought us here today, is that feeling of not being so close but not making it. And so I feel like we all knew we would make it to this point before the season started. It was just we've been too close. And I mean, that feeling, you can't really describe it. So it kind of motivates us every day to get here. And I mean, I believe we could do it from the get-go. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I mean, uh, seeing, you know, when you come on your visit and, you know, Coach Mason's selling you on a vision, he takes you up on top of the hill at the town center and he says, this is where you're going to play, look at this view, this is the facility it's going to look like. Uh, you know good things are happening. And then, obviously, the my first year here was after they uh, his freshman year, and they were one of the first four teams out. And so you know that they're close, you know that they're really a really competitive team, and you know wherever Coach Mason's gone, he's done really well. So, you know, it was just a matter of time for to put all the right pieces in the right place and have things go our way. And uh, it just worked out really well for us this year, especially being our last year. Hey Jackson, kind of the opposite question that he was asked about the dimensions of the ballpark. <laughs> As a pitcher, do you kind of sit there and do, do, does it is it imposing to you at all? Do you think, wow, it's only 300 feet out there? Um, I mean, whenever you see small dimensions, you kind of think, man, this could be a home run, you know, heavy team. But uh, you know, the the whole point of pitching is keeping the ball down, forcing ground balls. So if you do your job, keeping ground, uh, keeping balls on the ground, you don't have to worry about the ball leaving the yard. You know, it's been an interesting process for. Uh, Jackson Kramer's been here for four years. I've only been here for five, and Jackson Sigmund for three years. It's been tough, man. It's been it's been hard. We when we joined the Big Twelve five years ago, as some of you guys know, that was pretty imposing as to what we were getting into, and went into this league with some trepidation about how it's going to go, and oh my goodness. Uh, what's going to happen to the to the lowly Mountaineers in the Big 12? But that first year in the league, we finished third in the Big 12, and I think we established a, a culture that we're not going to we're just not going to stand back and and let the Big 12 steamroll us. And we've played uh, really well in our league. Uh, I can't remember all of the finishes that we've had, but like I said, that first year we finished third and. Finished fourth a couple times, and and they said have played really well, and have thought we've deserved to get in the NCAA tournament at times. Uh, so it's nice for these guys to, after several years of frustration of feeling like you're in and not getting in, to finally get rewarded and see uh, see your name come up on that selection show. It's uh, our job as coaches is to make memories for these kids and. And that's a memory I'm sure those guys will never ever forget when we were announced in the tournament. Obviously, from from the same hometown, can you how do you quantify your your knowledge and, and relationship with Wake Forest coach Tom Walter? I've got all the respect in the world for Walt and what he's done in his career. Uh, known him for 30 years, you know, coming from the same hometown, and and uh, there's not many Division One coaches that come out of our town, so. Uh, kindred spirits, I, th I guess you could call us. But uh, what an unbelievable job he's done. I'm super happy for him. The Wake score is one of the first scores I check every day just because I'm rooting for him to have a ton of success. And uh, he's done unbelievable things in his career. And I wish him nothing but the best. He he's built an unbelievable program here and, and will continue to do so. And uh, it's only it's just too bad. Both of us can't play in the College World Series together this year. Only one of us is going to make it out of this regional. So if it's not the Mountaineers, uh, I'm rooting for Walt. Other questions for Coach Mason? Coach, I know Michael's not pitching for you this week. Uh, how is the rest of the staff you know, health-wise? Are they feeling? <laughs> uh, the ones that are remaining are feeling pretty good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just going to. We've done the next man up philosophy all year long. When somebody goes down, somebody else step up. And uh, every time these pitchers have been challenged to do that, these young kids, then, then they have stepped up. So uh, they're in the stage now of the season that they've never been in before, uh, especially these freshmen that have never had to pitch this far into a season in high school. And most of the kids that we're going to trot out there on the mound this weekend at this time last year were finishing up their high school baseball season. So they've come a long way in 12 months. And and uh, we just got to keep counting on them to uh, keep stepping up like they have uh, ever since all the other guys went down. What's, what's the general plan from a rotational standpoint that you plan on, on starting tomorrow? Our, our plan is that we have no plan. Uh, we just go with the, the guy that we feel is the best matchup for the team in front of us. and. Uh, you know, and those guys know that. We don't, uh, uh, since it's been uh, basically a mass unit uh, the last half of the season, we've asked guys to start games on short notice and 
uh, with no preparation and that type of thing. And it's unbelievable how they've responded to that. And the, the, the mentality on the pitching staff is, hey, coach, if you need me, give me the ball. And that's what we've done here recently. And uh, we've gotten tremendous starts and, and outings out of guys that we had no idea were even going to pitch this year. So uh, super, super proud of this young pitching staff for what they've done. Time for one more question. In what ways do you feel like all of those freshmen that you put out there in Oklahoma City could benefit from that experience, the double elimination, the, you know, the big stage if they do have to go out there this week? Yeah, absolutely. Experience is the best teacher, you know, and uh, the reason we're here right now is I think because of we're still super young, uh, even position player wise, but uh, to be young and experienced at the same time is a pretty good quality. So. I think the experience of the Big 12 tournament this year is really helping. Uh, the experience of playing in the Big 12 championship game last year with all the freshman position players really helped us this year. So uh, I can teach as much as I want, but uh, I pale in comparison to what experience uh, live and on the field itself can do for these kids. And, and they've got it now. As young as they are, they've got that experience. And, and that's what's going to help them more than any coach can help them. The Mountaineers open with Maryland tomorrow.